Saturday, June 22nd, and I've uh, got the cab all set up with stuff I wanted to put in there, uh, seat covers, uh, steering wheel cover, and I got the window coverings in. So I almost finished sewing them last night. I have one little bit to go, and I'll show you that. Uh, but let's show that. Uh, let me there. Let's look at that now. So first off, I have the uh, bed and bed cabinet parts here. I already got a uh, first coat of polyurethane on this morning. And there's the cab. With the reflective all in there. And all the pine pollen all over the windows. Alright, so this is the big reveal of how I'm going to decorate the marshmallow. So this is the one I'm not finished yet. I've got the um, binding sewn on in the bottom, but then I ran out of binding, so I still need to do the binding all up around the uh, top and two sides. And get the seat covers in. Nice soft steering cover on. And there's my window coverings. All right, so I'm going to say a few words about the people who make these window coverings for their vans. I've seen several spray paint the side facing the windows black. I, I I don't even understand why they do that. I mean, I get that they're trying to do that for stealth, but do they not realize how much heat absorption that causes? The whole point of reflect reflectix is to reflect the sun back out through the windows so it does not increase the temperature inside the vehicle. Um, you're spray painting it black, what happens is the sun absorbs through the window into that and it's going to heat everything up a lot. So I really don't get that. I, I don't understand why they spray paint it black. Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and then also a whole lot of people just use um, duct tape around the edges, like it's not difficult or expensive to sew seam binding on there. Um, I don't know. I, I guess if you don't have a sewing machine, um, yeah, it might be wicked time consuming to sew it on by hand, but it just looks so much nicer than that freaking duct tape. Alrighty. So, now that you know how the van is going to be decorated, um, I've been buying sort of patriotic stuff for, I don't know, probably a month and a half is when I decided to go with this kind of theme. And it's been a lot of fun finding stuff. Um, so now we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do next. So this is a piece of countertop that I've had in my garage for, mm, gosh, uh, I don't know, 11 years. Um, I got it wicked cheap. It was a 10 foot long section. I I got it wicked cheap at a, um, I don't know, one of those places that sells this kind of stuff, like, you know, returns and things like that. So it's been sitting up on end, and this end, I don't know if you can tell with the sun, this end has gotten all damaged, but that's fine, because all I need is about 44 inches, so I'll be cutting it right here. And so basically this was free as far as I'm concerned because the whole 10 foot section I only paid like I think, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks for. And what I used it for was a built-in desk for my son's room. Um, so the 10 foot was cut to the, for the desk piece and then this is just what's been left over. So I'm going to use this for the countertop for the sink. Um, and I'm going to set it up now to cut. And I'll be back just before I cut it. Real quick before I cut that cabinet, I just want to show you the cab from the back with my uh, window liners in. I know they do let some light in, but that's okay. Um, and I'm not concerned about light going out of the van. There's going to be um, thermal curtains hanging from here anyway. Uh, this is all mostly just to keep the heat out. <clears throat> And I think it'll do a fine job. This fiberglass shell is actually pretty cool anyway. I mean, I have opened it up 
when I've gotten home from work and it's been closed up all day and it's been a hot day and inside the cargo area is actually really cool if I come forward and stand right here I can just feel the heat coming off that glass um, it's like a blast furnace and of course the afternoon Sun is over there so when I get home from work that afternoon Sun has been beaten down in here all all afternoon but the cargo area is actually still um, okay it's it's not that hot so I'm pretty excited to see how how well the reflectix will will keep the cab cool even in the Sun all afternoon all right, now off to cut that countertop. Okay, I'm all set up, ready to cut. I've got a guide board clamped on. I've got the cabinet protected from the saw. I've actually got a brand new blade on the saw. Ooh, let's do this. it's pretty good. Uh, where it counts is from like about here on. Um, actually, let me get the tape measure. So from about right here back, it's going to have to be cut again because this part here is going to stick out. Uh, okay, so the wall will come to about right here. So this edge will be up against a wall, and this edge will be over the edge of the wall here. So that means I'm going to have to cut in three quarters of an inch, and then again for this side to be up against the wall, and this side over here to be over the edge of the wall, if you follow me. I don't know. So it doesn't matter because this edge is going to get cut again, and... Um, I think now I know I probably should just go ahead and cut this with a jigsaw. Um, but this is a nice edge, and this will be a, this edge will be showing. So um, I think somewhere I have the actual laminate that glues on this edge. I'm not sure I can find it. <laughs> if I can, uh, actually I should have two of them, but. If I can find it, I'll put it on there once it's all installed. If not, I'll just probably paint it or something and seal it with a polyurethane. Anyway, I'm actually pretty happy with how this part turned out, which is the part that matters. Getting ready to cut the length of the cabinet side. So this is going to be the length of them to here, or the height of them to here. Sorry about the racket, my son is weed whack. Last night, I didn't finish. By the time I cut, finished cutting grass and everything, um, it was already 8 o'clock, and I just wanted to get everything put away and get dinner. So I didn't film. I kind of stopped filming in the process yesterday of, of building because it was just taking forever to get things figured out, and there were all these interlocking things, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a second. Um, so I'm just going to film what I finished up yesterday, and then I'll get that whole video for yesterday wrapped up, and then we'll start on today. But right now, let's show you what I did. So I got three coats of polyurethane on the Murphy bed cabinet top and the Murphy bed. Uh, today I need to flip, flip the uh, Murphy bed part over, <coughs> stain and... Uh, stain the underside 
And uh, if I do that first thing this morning, I should be able to get at least one coat of polyurethane on this afternoon. Um, so that's what I will do first thing this morning. But anyway, so yeah, so yesterday I got three coats of polyurethane on that. And I got one wall cut for what's going to be the sink cabinet. Got it cut and stained. It is not installed yet. It's just sitting in there. I got the countertop cut for this side to go around the wall. I still need to do it for this side, but I won't do it until I've cut this wall. So the countertop is also just sitting there right now. <clears throat> and what was so fiddly is that I have to have a board underneath that is bolted to the L track. And when I finally put everything together, what will happen is that board will be bolted into the back of this cabinet wall here um, and, and on the other side as well. And that's what will hold this whole cabinet to the wall. Hopefully. <laughs> I'm hoping that's the way it works. Um, I did put three, three bolts in this L track. There's one in the middle. <clears throat> and I think that should be good. Um, I mean, I don't expect the L track to give way. I'm just more afraid the screws in the back of the cabinet will give way. But that board is five inches wide. So I've got room to put like easily three screws into the back of each cabinet wall and possibly even four uh, but i think three will be good enough i think if i start putting more in it'll just weaken the plywood right along there um so this cabinet so this so this wall is stained and i can stop poly, start polyurethane in it today um but i can't get too aggressive with that yet because i kind of need it to be able to test uh this wall, you know, I need it. I need the countertop sitting on this one to be able to test this one. Now this one is going to come down and it's going to sit on on the wheel well. Uh, so the wheel well is going to be cut out for it. Uh, I had originally thought I was going to have it sit on this, um, but I've decided against that. All these units are going to be modular as in I can take them out and I didn't want the the sink cabinet to be dependent on the bed uh, on the on the uh, jackknife self I mean so there we go that's what I got done yesterday along with the stuff up in the front of the cab so I will oh wrap this video up and uh, get it posted next week. Hope you have a great day and thanks very much for watching. Bye bye.